welcome to Sip and Snack. We are here with the Trader Joe's OG Trader Joe's list. You may know her as, but we are here with Natasha. Hi. I can't believe she's in my kitchen. She's my Beyonce. So we're here. I'm making you a mocktail today. I'm very excited. I'm into mocktails. Of course. Okay, love that. Especially at like... Yeah, on a Wednesday mm -hmm. at 12 p.m. Exactly. Okay, so this is going to be a berry... Ooh, a little thick. A little thick. <laughs> a berry cider mocktail. Okay, oh. so I'm going to make... this. I'm finishing up making mine right now. Can you walk me through what's happened? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. Okay, everyone? Yeah, that makes it taste better when there's a little bit of a mess. Ooh, it's pretty gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take some raspberries, right? Love raspberries. And you're gonna muddle them. Now, the cider from Trader Joe's, the spice cider. I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. Um, you're gonna muddle these and you're gonna add the cider. You don't need any sweetener because the cider already has some it's just sweet nice sugar. But it's like no added sugar, which I love. Yes. Just from the apples. All natural. Um, so yeah, then you shake it and then you add some sparkling water. Berry flavored. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'll shake that out. But um, I have a few questions for you. Go for it. What got you into Trader Joe's? When I was leaving college, a friend of mine took me to a Trader Joe's for the first time and I loved it. And then after college, I lived with a bunch of girls and that's where I chose to shop. So it was, we lived in a duplex and so I basically fed everyone, not by choice, but because they came over <laughs> and they ate all of my items. Um, yeah, that's literally how I found Trader Joe's too in college. I was like, what is Ooh. this? I think like people were like obsessing at the time over the cookie butter. Right, that's when cookie butter blew up. Yes. Is, yeah. Do they still have it? Yeah, they do. That was one of my very first posts on my Instagram account. Was <gasps> the, the cookie, cookie butter? butter. It's actually the condensed milk was the first one. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> stop. <laughs> and then it was the cookie butter. <laughs> Wait, speaking of your account, how long have you had it for? Um, so I had a blog before Instagram even existed in 2008, and then I started my Instagram account in 2012. Oh, wow. Mm. And now you're at 2.9 million. One, uh, 1.9, but let's oh, your head down. Oh, Gotta oh, manifest it. Yes. <laughs> well, in my head, it's 2.9. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pour the sparkling water on top. Perfect. Ooh. And I need your honest review of um, Trader Joe's employees. Sometimes the cashiers, they get, they get some hate. They get some hate? The cashiers? Yeah, sometimes people are like, okay, we get it. Like, they ask about your entire life. Yeah. I love it. I do too. I like when they're always like, what do you have going on the rest of the day? I'm like, yes. I'm gonna go film. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to know. You saw me here last week. Okay. This is so thing. cute. Okay, how cute is this? Okay, berry cider mocktail. Let's try it. Okay. The room's gonna be sweet, just so you know. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is, I feel like, it's Christmas. I'm very, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. This one's really good. Mm. It's really good. I like the little bits of raspberry floating around the mm -hmm. top. It gives so me that festive. It's like all natural. Wow, I love it. I love it. Okay, so now that we're sipping, mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you some quick fire questions. Okay. Okay. that rim. Oh, so the rim is um, brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar. Okay. okay. Yeah, I love brown sugar. So good. Okay, so here we go. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Favorite Trader Joe's item? I'm just gonna say the Just Mango. Okay, love that. Favorite seasonal item? I'm looking at it. Oh, yeah. That stuff, is, I'm obsessed with it right now. Mm -hmm. Spice header. Favorite season at Trader Joe's? Are you pumpkin or are you holiday? Honestly, I think my favorite season is summer. Ooh. It's like when you get all the good snack, like crisps, like the snacks come out. You're right. P pumpkin is wonderful. I just get very overwhelmed. Yes. Because everything becomes pumpkin flavored. You're right. My husband gets overwhelmed too. Right, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> Chris is behind the camera. He hates all the pumpkin stuff I bring home. Everyone's mad I'm shaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's nervous. Okay. So nervous. Someone asks you, what do I get at Trader Joe's? Three edit items. What would you tell them? Um, I would say go get the, I have to think of the like, three items that are totally unique to Trader Joe's. Okay. Um, so I would say mm -hmm. to have the Trader Joe's experience, obviously I think like cookie butter, just cause that's like OG, that kind of kicked it off for a lot of the original people that got into Trader Joe's. Yes. Um, 
And then what's a super unique item to Trader Joe's? Um, this is such a hard question. Very good question. Um, maybe go get the like butternut squash mac and cheese in the frozen section. I have it in my fridge. It's now. seasonal, so. And then the third item. Do I go with a beverage? Do I go with something in the cold fridge? Mm -hmm. In the freezer? Oh, the dips. If it's in stock, the kimbap, because you can never get at it. You've never had it. What is that exactly? It looks like a sushi roll, but it's not. Um, and it's frozen and you eat it warm, so you heat it up. Oh. And it's really, really good. Okay, I think actually I saw someone get that in line it, today. It sells out, so those would be the three items I would recommend. Not necessarily my three, but the three I'd recommend someone new to Trader Joe's. Okay, I loved that. I'm gonna take that and use that. Um, and last question, how many bags are you carrying outside of Trader Joe's when you leave? Very good question. So if I take my car, it's usually like a three, sometimes four bags, but if I scoot yes. on my, my little cake scooter, it's usually two bags because that's all I can fit, but they're packed to the top. Yes, yes. And that's why we lift weights, everyone. Exactly. So that we can carry our Trader Joe's bags. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. And on our scooters. In one trip. <laughs> one trip. All right, cheers. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Woohoo. Someone said en enchilada sauce. Bring back more Apple products during fall. Oh. Where's your shaker from? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of shaking, we that's what they talking said. To everyone on the live. Speaking of shaking, this is from, I think it's literally from Amazon. <clears throat> what else? These little cups, Amazon. I want to go through some of your cups, because you also would show cups? a lot of things all the time. You've got these little clear ones. Oh. And I was considering buying them, this? but I wanted to just like see them. Yes. They're normal. Oh, and it's nice quality. Okay. Yes. And it comes with little glass straws. If you go to Callie's page for like Amazon store or short for like it to know it. Yes. She's linked all these. This is cute. I'm obsessed with cups. I can't fit any more, but. Do you have glass straws? Yes. How do you feel about them? You know, I like them for when I'm in the house, but like I would only use a straw. I like need straws for when I'm outside the house. Okay. So I feel like I can't bring them anywhere. My, so I have a fear with glass straws. Oh, really? Mm. What if I trip and fall in the house? And I'm taking a sip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are the things that go through my head. But I think that could happen. Didn't that happen with like a normal straw or something? I feel like it would bend. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But a glass straw is like. Maybe the metal straws. So but that could exactly kind of tell you. The glass is gonna break. Oh my gosh, it's gonna break. <laughs> and I have like random phobias that happen with. Ooh, with that things. is scary. But I do wanna. And maybe if I'm sitting, I would be fine with the glass. Yes, straw. like if you're like gonna. Drink it right then right there. Right on the spot. Yeah. Yeah, this is cute. I saw this the other day and I was like, I like it. Yeah, I love that one. Super cute. Very cute. A any products that were discontinued that you wish were back? Uh, asked. There's the Amped Up Almonds, which I have oh, loved. Oh, someone said with. she's going to say Amped Up Almonds. Yeah. <laughs> they're like the pro chocolate protein almonds. So they were like, yes, yes. And I, I'd buy them in bulk and put them in a jar. And then every day I would scoop them oh my gosh and now they just have the like slightly you dusted. should make your own now oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> we can next time we don't we have our own experiment in the kitchen oh, I we're, that. Gonna I, make I, our own. Experimenting. we're gonna make our own protein almonds yes they're a good size and mine would i can first leave what mine would and they did they just taste like chocolate covered almonds no they had like this like chalkiness to it that i really like mm -hmm. so i think it was like some people liked it some people didn't okay but i i absolutely loved it okay wow good. is dill pickle curds something no dill, dill pickle curds oh yeah those are good they're these mozzarella curds they're in the cheese section <gasps> you try them D they're like dusted with yeah dill, dill pickle seasoning kind of tried them but i saw them you'll like them for sure mm. it's dill pickle but i love it did you get the dill pickle seasoning? Of course. Okay. Of course. What do you put that on? Um, you could do it on like a salmon or like a fish or chicken or popcorn. I saw people popcorn, some people put it on eggs too. Ooh. You know what? I did um, also put it recently in chicken salad. That'd be really good. Just yeah. bring it on top. I use the green goddess seasoning often like that. Ooh, yes. And I just saw today there's a new item out um, if you like popcorn. It's Thanksgiving stuffing flavored popcorn. So remember the chips that come out? Yes. Mm. They never popcorn. Is it an orange bag? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I saw that online. <laughs> wow, we have so much to try, everyone. Yeah. Do you have an Amazon page, someone's asking? No. I have a like to know it. It's in my bio and you'll see all my kitchen stuff. When you go to that page, it's like these cups and everything. 
Cheers. This is really good. That's really good, y'all. Yeah.